So Apple announced AirDrop back in 2011 and that's one of the features that was really missing on the Android side of things. Yes, there were proprietary things such as Wi-Fi Direct which allowed you to send a file to your buddy who has the same brand of phone, say Pixel to Pixel or Samsung to Samsung, but there was never a universal app that will let you send across all the devices including your Windows computer. So when Google finally announced nearby share for everything, it was amazing, but they took a while to release the Windows version, but it's now out in beta. And in today's video, I'll show you how to use it and we'll do some tests on how fast it is. So let's get started. First up, you need to download the installer from Google's website, android.com slash better together nearby share. I will leave a link down in the description below for you to download. You install it and then once it's installed, all you do is just go to your tray. You'll see a nearby share icon just like that. The minimum requirements to run nearby share is Windows 10 or above. You need Wi-Fi and Bluetooth for it to run. You can use any sort of adapter so you're not limited by a built-in Wi-Fi Bluetooth. I have a desktop here that has a built-in Wi-Fi and Bluetooth adapter. But I've tested it on my laptop as well as an external USB, Wi-Fi and Bluetooth adapter. It works totally fine. So you don't have to worry about having a certified Broadcom, Qualcomm, Bluetooth for it to work. Anything works. Once you have everything up and running, you it will tell you if you need to do anything. For me, it says Bluetooth needed. I'm going to turn on Bluetooth. And you can see on this screen it says ready to receive. Now it will ask you to log in or you can choose to use it without the login. It will work either way, so no issues. I have logged in here so I don't have to approve every request when I send a file from my phone, which is great. If you need that, do it. If not, you can manually approve every transfer. Go to settings. When you jump into settings, you can select which folder it is saved to by default. For me, it's downloads. On the left, I have a Pixel 7 Pro. And on the right side, I have a Pixel 4a. Both of them recording the screen. Now, if I wanted to send a large file from the PC, for example, I can do that by going into any folder. Look for a large file. Archive. I'll go to Mac OS Monterey. I'm going to do this one. This one is 6 gigabytes almost. Right click. Send with nearby share. And it will look up my devices. It found two. <laughs> I don't know which one is which, so let's select the first one. It's sending. That's my Pixel 7 Pro. You can see the transfer rate as well, which is pretty amazing. 32 megabytes a second. This is all happening automatically. I didn't have to approve it because I logged in. I can cancel the request from my Pixel 7 Pro which I'm going to do now, you can see how quickly it transfers. So if you're transferring a mere 4K video or a photo, it should take seconds instead of sending it via WhatsApp or email or, you know, uploading to your cloud and then sharing the link and all that. Just send the whole file. It's too good. Cancel. I'm going to do the same for my other phone. Let's see. One, two... You can see there now my Pixel 4a is also receiving, but it really depends on your phone's Wi-Fi capabilities, right? So you saw with the 7 Pro, we were doing 35 megabytes a second. With the Pixel 4a, we we're doing 16, which is half. So your mileage may vary with the speed, but generally speaking, it should be much faster than anything other than this, right? Like. A USB cable, the time it takes for you to plug it in, set it to file transfer. This is already available. So if you leave your Wi-Fi and Bluetooth enabled, that's it. Should be good to go. I'm going to cancel this as well. So I've got this video on my phone from the Jace game. If I wanted to send it, I can press share. Nearby share, actual size. You can see my Pixel 4a shows up. My laptop, it thinks it's my laptop, it's the desktop. Shows up, I just click it. 
and it just starts sending. On the PC, you'll see receiving in progress. I can open it. Boom. And that's pretty much it, guys. If you have any questions, comments, suggestions, let me know down in the comments below. And uh, there is a channel Discord which has now crossed 300 members, which is crazy. I did not even try to promote it or anything. It's too good. You can chime in there if you have a question. You'll get a quick answer there compared to YouTube comments. I try to answer all of them. So if this video helped you, smash that thumbs up button. Check out my other videos right up here. And thanks very much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. Cheers.